joking. He's getting two. A red and a black Ferrari. Yeah, but that's typical of him. He's such a greedy bastard. They do look nice, though, I have to admit. Yeah, but what about you? Who really? I don't give a shit, because I'm getting a Porsche. Stop that. A pink Porsche. I saw one the other day. It is so me. Deborah, darling, you're such a show-off. Well, as soon as we get this money, the first thing is a cruise. Yeah, I'm looking at some great deals now, actually. And I was thinking, as a present to you and Dave, you should come with us. Mm. It'll be great. I'll pay for it all. Deborah, darling, I can't take your money. Don't be silly. If the shoe was on the other foot, you'd do it for us. Ah, oh, fuck it. Go on, then I'll come. Oh, when I talk of shoes, I'm ordering 27 pairs. I'll get you some. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. What about horses? I don't think so. And a barn? The only reason I'd have a barn is for bloody good parties, not horses. Listen, Paula, um, I'm expecting someone. I think they're here by the sounds of it. I'll call you back later. Oh, hi there. You must be here for the thing. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, come in. You've got a lot of stuff in there. Yeah, only our whole lives. Sit down, make yourself at home, and I'll uh, make the tea. Lovely. Two sugars in both, please. Excuse me a minute. <laughs> Hello, PC man. You're the PC man? Yeah. Did you come on your own? Yeah. If you're the PC man, who the hell have I just let into my house? Wait here a minute. Oh, no, go, on. go on, sir. Go on. Yes. <laughs> Are we all nice and cosy? Would one of you two like to tell me what you're doing here? You know why we're here. No. You see, you told me you were here to fix the PC. No, 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 no. We told you no such thing. You said, are you here for the thing? So we naturally assumed you meant the rooms. However, I do know about fixing PC, so how about if I fix yours, you knock a week's rent off? A week's rent? I don't think so. Who do you think you are and why are you lying all over my sofas? Would you rather us lay down in the bedroom? No. I'd rather you piss off and find somewhere else. I don't understand. This is perfect for us and it's in our price range. I'm not taking any more of this. I'm ringing the police. And tell them what? And tell them two criminals are in my house. That is slander. And I shall pretend you didn't say it. We knocked and you let us in. Only because I thought you were someone else. Well, that's not our problem, is it? I'm going to make it your problem. You're going to look a fool. Oh, really? Yeah, he's right. You let us in and all we did was answer an ad Are you placed. That can't be my house. 15 ripping way Watford. Yes, but it's a mistake. It must be somewhere else. I mean, this is all wrong. Phone my husband. We've already spoken to him. And he said it's perfectly all right. My husband wouldn't say that. He's away on business. I know. He told us. He said he's going to be away, but his wife will be able to deal with it. Although if I'd known it was going to be like this, I probably wouldn't have bothered. Hello? Look, you're going to have to wait a minute! OK, you two. What's my husband's name? Stephen. It's David, as a matter of fact. David! Of course it is. Bullshit. I'm ringing my husband. You want to be gone when he gets here. Good. You let me speak to him when you're finished. I want to tell him how rude you are. Hmm. And we're still waiting for that cup of tea. I'll ring the police. And tell them what exactly? They've probably been called out to some poor old lady being mugged. And instead they're going to have to detour all the way round here only to find that you want two men off your sofa. Two men that have been given permission to be on your sofa by your husband, George... Phil, Philip... Uh, George... Did Barry... Damien! David! They'll get here, see that you're in no danger whatsoever, probably have to wait ages for a cup of tea, and then when they've spoken to your husband, they'll decide that you're nuts and it'll be too late to save that poor old lady. I do have other jobs, you know. Fuck off! 
Look, hang on. Hang on. It does look a bit rude. I mean, her husband obviously hasn't told her. Look, we haven't got anywhere to go. Can we just stay tonight? We'll be gone first thing. I know we didn't get off on the right foot, and... Yeah, we did take the piss, a bit. But look at it from our point of view. We really did speak to your husband, and we haven't done anything wrong. I don't know. How about I make you that cup of tea? Tonight only. You have our word. But it's the sofas only. Upstairs is out of bounds. It's my area. If you want to take a piss, you take a piss in the street. Although you've taken the piss enough already. No washing or brushing your teeth in my sink. And in the morning, I want you gone before I wake up. No washing, no brushing. Why don't you let me make you that cup of tea? I don't know why I'm in such a mood for anyway. I should be happy. Of course you should. We're here. I'm not happy because you're here. I'm happy because soon I won't be here. I'm listening. You see, I've just booked a cruise. I'm going on one with David when he returns. <laughs> you see, me and him have come into a lot of money. An endless amount of money. And you still live here? Well, we haven't got it yet. Well, David's dad has just been told he's got three months to live. We've got to wait for him to die first. Oh, uh, don't follow. Thanks. I normally have two sugars. Oh, sorry, I, I put one in, I wasn't sure. Where was I? Something about fleecing a load of money. Oh, yes. So, David's dad is a millionaire and he's just been told he's got three months to live. And? So, so when he dies, we'll have loads of money. Is that all that matters to you? Leave the woman alone. Let her have her tea. Yes, when it's an amount like that, it's all I can think about. And does your uh, Daniel know this? David. Of course he does. He hates his dad too. And he told you this, did he? The £80,000 he stole from his dad told me that. What? Mm. I shouldn't be telling you all this, should I? But you brought it up. I did, didn't I? Oh, I just can't keep my mouth shut. I'm so excited. I can't wait for him to die. That's absolutely disgusting. I beg your pardon? Your husband's dad's about to die, and all you two are worried about is his money. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Who the hell do you think you are? Get out of my house now. Oh! 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 Don't help me! Nah, don't get involved in domestics. Oh, that was just a warm-up. This one is really going to hurt. You're mental! Oh. You all right? I feel a bit pissed. What did I do to her? Oh, it's not what you did to her. It's what I did to her. I thought we was going to do that later. Yeah, well, it's a good job I did it now, because she was kicking your ass. <laughs> We're not allowed up here, remember? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm going to have a bath. And you can use her toothbrush. Yeah, what well, my fucking arse on it. Nice and cosy. I would join you, but they say freeze a crowd. Four's just too many. 
Hi, darling. Hi. What the fuck are you two doing in my bed? Yeah, good question. What are you all doing in my bed? Shagging your wife. I mean, how did it happen? Well, we met your wife in a club last night and she was all over us. What would you do? Me, I'd probably do the same. I don't blame you two. I blame that slag in the middle. David, honestly, I can't remember anything. These two have done something to my memory. Don't flatter yourself. She was off her tits. She was all over us. I can believe that. Hmm. Well, tell him, won't you? Tell him you, you never shagged me. I've never shagged her. <sighs> See, darling? I did. Oh, it's not looking good for you, is it, Deborah? This is not what it looks like. Oh, shut up, right? You're going to get what you deserve. No excuses. I'm going to teach you to play around while I'm at work all week. You're going to get what you deserve. What are you doing? Smile. You're going viral. Ah, yeah, uploading. She deserves it. But don't take me in it. Yes, it is. Right, go with this one. Mum? Well done. Well done. Four and a half million views and counting. It's all over Facebook. It's all over Twitter. And he just phoned Sandra, and it's all over Pornhub too. I'll never be able to show my face in public again. I'm supposed to be going to bingo on Friday. Bingo? Piss off! <sighs> I bought him that phone for his birthday. I didn't dream in a million years he'd use it against me. This is adultery. Now I won't see a penny of that money. Is that all that matters to you? It's a fucking lot of money. Two and a half million will set you for life. And by the way, nothing happened between those sheets. I don't understand. We never done anything. What, what's the point in that? <laughs> it's a bit late now. As promised, 20 grand for you, 20 for you. How about 40 grand for me, and then you go and get him another 40 grand? I was taking the piss, because that weren't the deal. Yeah, well, neither was the uh, two and a half million quid that you forgot to tell us about. All oh, right. What difference is it going to make to you? One million, two and a half million? It's all the same. 20 grand, 40 grand, it's all the same. All right. What if I say no? Well, then we tell the police that you set the whole thing up. We'll also tell the dad that you nicked 80,000 from his account. She's got a fucking big mouth. Yeah, you two are alike. It's just stay it together. Yeah, but he's my dad. Why should she get half? I'll tell you what, if you two wait here, I'll go to the bank and I'll come back with the other 40. <laughs> yeah, right so. Forgive us if we don't trust you, but I think we'll come with you. I'll take it, he paid you. Yeah. Then you find the full 80s then? Well, I'll check it all. I can see why you hired us. <laughs> you keep it. That's way more than we agreed, sir. You deserve it. Look at it as a bonus. £80,000 is peanuts to me. It's the principles that matter. When a son steals up his father, cut you deep. I'll be changing that wheel first thing in the morning. Probably leave it all to Batsy Dog Zone. <laughs> David didn't like dogs. Ironically, he married one. Yeah. Sorry about your son. 
see it all too often in this game. But you don't deserve it. Mm. Bit of a choker, really. <laughs> Laying about. There's another choker coming. And it's for him. Oh, yeah. That's kind of right. That's right. Dad! Don't tell me. You're in a pub. Working out how to spend my five million pound. Oh, I'm not thinking of your money. Why would you say such a thing? Well, you're in the pub, though. Well, yeah, but I'm in the pub drowning my sorrows, you know, thinking about you. Oh, knock it off. Anyway, I've got some bad news for you. Nothing can be as bad as losing you, Dad. That's the bad news. I ain't really dying. You are? <laughs> I lied to you. Like you lied to me when you stole, yes, stole, £80,000 from me. You still there? Yeah. Well, you'll be pleased to know I got that money back. Thanks to those two detectives that you hired to spy on your wife. I recommended them to you. In fact, they were working for me. Dad, Dad they betrayed you. As if I'm going to do that. Shut up, you tit. I've used these on a number of cases you don't know nothing about. They're loyal to me, and I envy their parents. Something money can't buy. Debbie didn't do anything, did she? It was just an excuse for you to get a quickie divorce. So you could have all the money to yourself. You greedy, fat little bastard. What now? Goodbye, David. Should I can have a drink? Yeah, uh, I'll have a whiskey, please. Single or double? A whole fucking bottle. <laughs> <laughs>